Hey folks, time for a very quick lesson video. This is a lick that I'm trying to record on one of my tunes here. It's very blatantly a Malmsteen ripoff, but why not, I say, because he is awesome. It sounds like this. A bit like that. I'm having some trouble with this last one. Actually, it's alright when I do it from there, but in the whole piece, it's a bit tricky. Unfortunately, in the song that I'm working on, it's much faster. Too fast, you might say. Let's just try it a couple of times, see what we can come up with. Almost. That's probably closer than I usually get. That's probably the best one I've done. Let me slow that down for you. Uh, we'll do it really slow. I won't go through every note, but I'm sure most of you can pick it up. Starts on the second string at the ninth fret. It's a harmonic minor scale. So most of it is that classic groups of fours moving down on the one string, in this case, the first string. So the... Uh, It's the easy bit when you cross over the strings that it gets a little bit harder. Let me do it for you once more. Good luck with it. What the hell, let's just tag on one more Malmsteen inspired lick. It sounds like this. It's a very short snappy one, but it's quite tricky. What it is, you take three notes. In this case, it's the, the A harmonic minor again. So 29 and 17 on the first string. And then you move down to 16 on the first finger and then you just move back up just descending and ascending like this it's a lot trickier than you might think is that the timing of that uh, first finger movement has to be spot on otherwise it becomes a bit of a mess so that's a pretty fun one could also be applied to blues or other scales you just take um, three notes on one string so and then you move down to another note on that same string could just be other major minor scales where you're doing that same kind of idea. Three notes. 